What up, folks? It's Friday. It's Memorial Day weekend. It's me, it's Sugar and Tangerines, and it's little Sugar and Tangerines Jr. going camping on Memorial Day weekend in Montana. Um, it's my lunch break at work. Got a meeting this afternoon, but I'm gonna try to get as much packed up as I can. It is cloudy and it was raining earlier and it actually, it's still raining. It was supposed to stop by now. It's supposed to clear up for Saturday and then maybe have some shower Sunday night too. So we're gonna try to get out of here tonight even though it's raining, it's Memorial Day, no big deal. I just wanted to get this, this bad boy started. We've got, got my stuff here that we're taking. Got a drone, an ax, camp dutch oven, that stuff. Blah, 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 blah. That's what's up. And wanted to get this thing started, so let's go, baby. Boulder River, Memorial Day weekend, 2019. Me and Sugar and Sugar Jr. Can't wait. Hey, babe. Hello. What's up? It is Memorial Weekend 2.0. Heck yeah. Are yeah. you excited? Super jazzed. Me too. All right, folks, we're coming up on Big Timber here. We've been enjoying the ride, chit-chatting. Weather looks a little bit sketch. There's Big Timber in the crazy mountains straight ahead. This is where we're going, which is obviously raining. So we'll see what happens. What do you have to say? Um, How's it been? Good. Push like in the comments. <laughs> if you would like to know, see or no. See or no? Yes. See. You want to know. So you press like in the comments. Oh, I'll okay. tell you. Oh, okay. I get enough likes in the comments. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. All right, folks. It's 5 o'clock. It's 55 degrees out. This is where we're headed now. It actually looks better than it did before. It looked like it was raining where we were going before. Now it looks like it's not. But there's still a bunch of snow up there and I'm not sure how high the campground is compared to how where that snow up, snow line is. So I guess we'll see. I think that the campground is significantly lower than that. Because even when we went on our hike last year, we didn't get up to anywhere near the highest point. Sure. We're gonna be by the water. Not the... Oh, good point. Yeah. Cool. All right, folks, I have to show you this. Check it out. It's completely clear. It's beautiful blue skies. The mountains look fantastic. This really green valley. Everything is super green. The Boulder River is over here off to our left. I've got one of the most beautiful women inside and out with me. Hello. Life does not get any better than this. No. Nope. <laughs> Check it out, folks. I just stopped to just get outside for a second. Um, we're all we're on our way up. It's beautiful clear clear blue, blue skies Memorial Day weekend baby on the boulder favorite person favorite person in the world Hello. Yeah, and actually so on the on the first video we stopped Before we got up there and we got out and I remember saying oh my gosh I can already feel it that we're in the mountains. It already feels different. And I feel the same way now. Yeah, it does feel that way she knows how to take pictures, how to take videos. So it kind of has a beautiful river, and I like the river, and and this space over here, it's kind of like the mountains, there's like snow all over the mountain. That's a good idea to go sledding up there. The only thing I'd add on my video is that I think it's really cool how you can actually see where the snow starts and where the snow ends and it's this very clear, well not, it's kind of a fade in and out up there, but I just think that looks really cool. All right, folks, check it out. Here's the campsite. Got the bear storage thing right there. We made it. We still got a couple hours of sunshine. It's actually nice out here. I mean, we need sweatshirts on, but it's absolutely gorgeous. The river's right there. We got a pretty decent campsite. What do you think, babe? I like it. I kinda like it. Do you think? It's pretty open. Yeah, it's kinda cool. I like it. It's open. Alright folks, I guess it's break time here. Got everything kind of set up. 
still got the time lapse going. We got the camp Dutch oven, lodge number 12. We got the coals just gotten going. There's the campsite over there. There's the love of my life and her daughter. Here's the setup. Loving it. I gotta, I gotta focus on this, bye. All right, we got the coals going. I just asked Sugar to come help me tip this water so we can get these taters cleaned off and then the taters are going in the camp Dutch oven. What do you think of that? <laughs> taters are on. We got the taters roasting. Those will go for an hour. In the meantime, we'll get the steaks and veggies going. We got the American flags everywhere. Time lapsing still. Reading. Gonna go check out the river still. Get a fire going. We do have the coffee on. We're about to perk some coffee. So we just ran out of battery, but we're back. And I was just gonna say, we are gonna go down to the Boulder River and check it out, me and my girl. Good coffee going? Yep, coffee's going. We had a light sprinkle, but it was just a tease. Yep. So it was just a tease. That was I'm nice. I'm wearing my fancy hat. I'm drinking this fancy water. <laughs> this some fancy water. You look, you look pretty fancy for, for camping. Wow, check it out. How cool. How cool. All right, folks, check it out. We got ourselves a fire. I started this with one piece of paper and lit it and then put little tiny twigs on it and built it all the way up and that's what we got. We got a legitimate fire going here now. So we got the fire going. Potatoes got another 20 minutes. Okay, You're reading a book called Supermarket. Yeah. Cool. It's witty and funny. Who wrote it and what's it about? His name is Bobby Hall. And it's about a guy named Flynn, depressed, recently dumped, living in his mom's house and working at a supermarket. He's also an aspiring mm -hmm. writer, so he starts to develop characters from where he's working. And he finally has gotten his novel someone's looking at it and he's going to new york to be the publisher wow that's okay cool it's that like, sounds cool um, it's something that just kind of romanticizes the ordinary right it's like this ordinary guy ordinary job i like it i like the premise Me too. cool check it out folks we got corn on the cob grilling we got a place for our steaks we got the potatoes over there we got the fire going sugar and tangerines has a blanket now got some rib steaks here a couple corn on the cobs Three potatoes still rocking over there. Beautiful night out here, absolutely beautiful night. It barely sprinkled on us for a few seconds. It's definitely been crowded. It'll probably sprinkle again tonight, but it's been not bad. Look how she's coming along, baby. Look how she's coming along. Folks, check it out. Look at that corn, look at that corn on the cob. We got not quite done potatoes. The steak is good. A little cheese on them taters. Mm. Got the fire going. How's the corn? Oh, it's amazing. It's the best thing. Is it? You think the corn's the best? Mm -hmm. Even better than the steak? Yeah, and I don't really like corn that much. And I think it's the best. <laughs> That's awesome. But this meat is really good. Awesome. Folks, we're done eating, had our dessert, got everything cleaned up, got the fire going, everything over here is cleaned. Now it's just time to chill. Sugar and Tangerines is burning potatoes up over here. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Elbows back. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta, -ta. <laughs> All right, folks, 9 a.m. Saturday morning of Memorial Day weekend. Beautiful, beautiful morning out here. The girls are still sleeping, so I'm up at 9 a.m. here. I guess I'm gonna do a couple things around the camp here, maybe make some coffee, 
going to the bathroom, maybe take another time lapse, maybe take some slow motion. Can enjoy it. folks we got the coffee perkin no big deal I've been just chilling I've brushed my teeth got up changed my shirt hung out a little bit cleaned out the coffee cleaned out some mutt or something to drink out of oh and uh, I, I did get some slow motion footage hope you guys enjoyed the slow motion footage I was down there by the river um, time lapses. Time lapses are from up here, looking up in this direction. So yeah, I think I'm gonna fly the drone next too. I'm super stoked about that. Awesome. Me too. And this is what we got going on here, folks. Sausage, potatoes, and eggs. How are you? Welcome to Saturday morning, by the Thank way. Thank you. I got to sleep in until like 10.30, whereas last year I had to get up at the crack of dawn. 
Why'd you have to get up at the dawn earlier well, last Clementine year? Clementine Cutie had asthma. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was nice because she got up and then I, me and her hung out for like an yeah, hour or two yeah. and you slept extra. Yeah, so I'm she's down. at a good age where like, you know. Yeah. Same same skillet that I cooked on last summer. Same skillet that I cooked the steak on last night. It's one of my favorite little logs, number 12. All right, we got the sausage cooked in here, staying warm, and we got some taters going. All right, Sugar and Tangerines had the idea to put the sausage back in with these taters. And then we're gonna dump the eggs in there. I've hijacked this breakfast. Yeah, you have. But which I'm okay with. I think you're gonna like it. I think it's gonna be good. <clears throat> Here's our situation, folks. My goodness, that looks good. Okay. Like frittata. Okay. Inspired. Here's how it looks, folks. Sausage, potatoes, eggs, and cheese. Looks like it's gonna be pretty darn good if I say so myself. I've tasted it, it's not poisonous, so nice. I'll for everyone. <laughs> Alright folks, we're going for a walk. Get in the I'm gonna go into a food coma. Yeah, we just ate a bunch <laughs> of potatoes <laughs> and sausage <laughs> and cheese and eggs. Oh, cool, glacier lilies. Wow, there's a whole bunch of glacier lilies. Cool. I wish I'd have gotten closer to my mom's after Pop's drawn out of death. I wish the best, I wish that and all the rest. Sometimes I wonder if I felt more at home my own skin instead of always feeling fake. But my genuine moments stop feeling off and out of place. And my smile seems strange. I walk like I'm trying on a wig, or a mask, or a laugh, or a face, or a faith in my place in this path. But so I'm trying to change that and live inside the moment, not the past. See the present unwrapped, cause the moment's all we have. It's gone. I'm just waiting, hoping the next one go last. A little longer than the one before, cause there's only so many I can grab. So they all start slipping out of hand. All right, folks, just finished up this walk. Sugar Tangerines found some cool rocks, mostly like quartz and mica, we think. Lots of granite around here too. All right, folks, so we just got back from our hike. I went and did a wood run. Went and clicked a bunch of wood up on the side of the mountain for the fire tonight. And now we're just relaxing. Super peaceful, super chill. Right then, or should I be more focused on where feet wanted to go? All right, folks, just went to the bathroom, walking back. Oh, I thought this was an open spot, but actually somebody's got a tent set up there. Looks like just to reserve it, which is kind of stupid. That's spot number three. We're on spot number one. Last year, we were on spot number eight. We're in round number one this time. This says campground limit 16 days. Can't imagine camping here for 16 days. Um, but yeah, here's campsite number two. I think that camp, campsite number three is cool because it's closed in. But campsite one is good because we're kind of far away from everybody else over here. All right, for all the ladies watching it, this is how you look beautiful while camping. All right, folks, quick update. We've been relaxing for the last couple hours. This guy dropped by and gave us a bunch of wood. It was really nice of him, so we have a ton of wood now. So it's about four o'clock, five o'clock. We got a fire started already. I've been reading the Holy Bible over here. It's been good. How are you doing? Good. I'm reading a fiction novel, you know. Good. Relaxing? Mm -hmm. Cool. I'll see you relaxing. All right, folks, we've just been relaxing here for hours and hours and hours. Got the fire going. Got that going, check this out. That's a whole chicken in there with carrots and onions and mushrooms and green beans and a little olive oil, salt and pepper, dried garlic, alpine touch, Italian seasoning, and we're going into the into the Lodge 12 camp Dutch oven right there, and then we might use some actual coals from this fire too, so. We'll keep you posted on dinner. All right, baby, that whole chicken is on. We got the whole chicken on in the camp Dutch oven. You're camping, baby. Doesn't get any better than this. We are going to get uh, a drone flight, so probably the last drone flight. Let's go. Remember those days, those L's, I could sleep right now. I get paid, fake games, stay in peace. I breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. <laughs> I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. I wake up good, you're so grouchy. Please get from around me. 
But when the truth don't work, you start telling lies Thought you were down the ride, you weren't down the ride Caught switching, you were picking sides Don't blink, caught slipping like a slip and slide I was shooting dice till I got a nosebleed Money on the floor, can't get cold feet Took a L, shoulda put it in the whole free Lord, forgive me for my sins, don't know me Scary thoughts, I got scary thoughts Lost control, now I'm taking charge Breaking bills, friends breaking off You could be the youngest, I'm the d d Kiss the ring, nah In the scene like G.O.T Stay awake, don't sleep Like Jon Snow, get R.I.P Remember those days, those L's I couldn't sleep right now I get paid, fake game, I'm staying B-side Breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right You could be my peace sign I don't need that energy around me I just need sun, you're so cloudy I wake up good, you're so grouchy Please get from around me <laughs> Just me, myself, and I, my favorite three song yeah. The cars I drive up by, I never lease them no. They say if you can't beat them, then you join them no. That's no option, I don't join, I always beat them yeah. I was fake, you had to find, had me. To find me Now I'm on B, skating like I'm grinding, like I'm grinding. L hit me, said it's all about the timing if you want the vision, get the spinning My mama told me trust in God, it's never limits Now I'm on the scoreboard, running up the digits I put in work, you know I'm up to get it Early bird gets the worm and the Yankee fitted Alright folks, so this thing's This whole chicken with some vegetables and everything else Has been roasting for over two hours Looks cooked, looks like maybe a little overdone But we'll see, I guess Looks pretty tasty, I have to say How are you, babe? You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun. You're so cloudy. I wake up good. You're so grouchy. Please give Well, folks, it's about 8 8 30. We're about to call it. I'm getting tired. It's crazy how when you're out here, 8, 8.30 comes around, you're ready for bed. All right, folks, I suspected since I went to bed at 8 p.m. last night, I got up at 6. It's 6.20 now. Everything is super wet. Every, it's just been raining all morning. I'm gonna break camp down and get this shit ready to go. Hopefully we can be on the road by seven or eight if I can get the girls up. Beautiful morning though, but just a little bit cold, wet, and rainy. But it's a motivation to get out of here. So I decided to take a walk here early morning. I'm the only one up. One, two, three, there's three people here. Maybe four if you count the people off to the right here, but they've got two campers over on one of those lefts. I think it's like five, six, seven are all taken. <clears throat> Here's our old campsite, number eight. Just looking at this campsite, I totally remember being here last year with Sugar and Tangerines and Sugar Junior. But it was crazy, last, last Memorial Day weekend, this was, there was water running right here. It's still a little bit wet right there, but there was legit water running. There was water running, I think, across the road too. But yeah, I was just looking at this. Good memories. Good memories right here. Good memories, that's where our tent was. Good memories around this fire. Good memories eating at that table. Wow, tons of, tons of glacier lilies. Is that what they're called? I think so. All of these yellows. Pretty sure those are glacier lilies. Let's see what the river looks like over here these days. Yeah, I remember last year, it was like pure white water. You couldn't see anything. The, white, the water was all the way up to this edge. Completely up here, this was completely overrun. Yeah, it was probably three feet taller last year. Crazy that it's this much lower. It was easily three feet, four feet higher last Memorial Day. Memorial Day 2018. So this is Memorial Day 19 and it's much, much lower. Interesting. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love looking across the river too and just seeing the moss growing on the side and seeing the trees and just knowing that boom, just miles and miles of wilderness in that direction right past that. What up, folks? All right, so this is the end of Hicks Park Campground. And this is upside down trailhead. 
a uh, little little spot here and then there's a sign that says trail and then maybe about 50 yards up the road there's another sign that says trail go left and the trail goes off into the Absorca Bear Tooth Wilderness going this way um, so just wanted to point that out kind of cool upside down trail right here and my goodness if you look way up there you can see there's still this snow covered basin or bowl or something way up there and it's bright white and the sun is shining on it and it's hard to see probably on the camera but from here it just looks gorgeous with that morning sun beating off it and actually if you look over here you can start to see that morning sun hitting the mountains over here and then of course down here it's like still dark but man just a beautiful morning it's rainy it's wet but it is beautiful and frankly i'm just love being it love being out here anyways upside down trailhead i've hiked i've hiked that i've came out that way so i've done i've done a four or five day trip back here into the absorca bear tooth wilderness with my dad growing up when i was a kid but we i think we went further up went all the way in a couple three or four days in the absorca bear tooth wilderness and then came out right here at the upside down trailhead and then like hiked up this road to get to the truck i think or something um or hitchhike from here but if I recall correctly, we came out upside down trailhead, but point being, I have hiked upside down trail right here. And it's, from what I remember, stunning, awesome, amazing. And then this is cool. I always like these little, in the springtime when these little creeks like this are running, I always think it's pretty cool. Totally clear water. I know I'm so much better. 